Wait, 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 he didn't do anything! Don't piss me off. Hey YouTube, what it do, Shaori? My name's Anime, and you are watching Chicane TV. So today's video is about the stop and search of Bianca Williams and Ricardo Dos Santos. They're both highly successful, accomplished athletes. Bianca is 26 and she is the European and Commonwealth Rio gold medalist. And Ricardo is 25 and Portuguese and the 400 meter record holder. The couple have a three month old baby. Bianca shared some footage and pictures from the incident yesterday on her Instagram page with the caption, time for change and for actions to have consequences. Still incredibly hurt and shaken by my ordeal yesterday. The BBC website have covered the story and this is what they had to say. Met police bosses say they want to speak to Team GB Sprinter who is accusing officers of racially profiling her in a stop and search. Bianca Williams and Ricardo dos Santos, a Portuguese 400 metre runner, were stopped in Maydeville, West London, on Saturday. Miss Williams, whose three-month-old son was in the car at the time, called it an awful experience. Commander Helen Harper said she was really keen to speak to the couple to discuss the concerns they have. The Met had said that officers were patrolling the area in which Miss Williams was stopped because of an increase in youth violence. But the European and Commonwealth Games gold medalist believes the couple were targeted because they are black and were driving a Mercedes. They said there's a lot of youth violence and stabbings in the area and that the car looked very suspicious. They see a black male driving a nice car, an all black car, and they assume that he was involved in some sort of gang, drugs, violence problem. In a statement on Sunday evening, the Met said the Mercedes was stopped after it was seen driving suspiciously whatever the hell that means. Please tell me how you drive suspiciously, including being on the wrong side of the road and that the driver had sped off when asked to stop. I just want to interrupt um, the article quickly just to show you a screen grab of the road. It's a very narrow road. Chances are they were probably driving in the middle of the road because that's the only way that you can get down the road. And can I also add, they were actually outside their house. The police stopped them outside of their house. So Bianca obviously denied that they were driving suspiciously, whatever that means. And she said, that is false. We were never on the wrong side of the road. We were driving down through a single whip roads. We only found out about us driving on the wrong side of the road once they tweeted. This isn't the first or fourth or fifth time. It must be about the 10th. It's getting ridiculous. We are planning on taking it down the legal route. I feel very hurt by their actions and to witness my partner being taken away and for me to be taken away from my son, my heart hurts. The Met and officers from the Director of Professional Standards had reviewed footage from social media and officers' body cams and were satisfied that there was no concern around officers' conduct during the stop and search of the two athletes. That does not mean that there isn't something to be learnt from every interaction we have with the public, Commander Helen Harper said. We want to listen and speak with those who raise concerns to understand more about issues raised and what more we can do to explain police actions. Where we could have interacted in a better way, we need to consider what we should have done differently and take on that learning for the future. So if you didn't do anything wrong, what exactly are you learning? I'm, I'm confused. Just say sorry and done the dance. Anyway, guys, watch the video and let's discuss.
Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. I'm outside my house. You're right. For what? For what? You're right. For what? For what? <laughs> For what reason? What reason? What do you do? Bro, I'm at home, bro. What are you doing? Bro, I'm at home, bro. Wait, 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 wait. He didn't do anything. No, 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 no
he was obviously furious by what happened and you can check out his tweet here. And I'm hoping that he supports them with taking legal action against the Met for this. He's, he's openly said that it's institutional racism and the behaviour of the Metropolitan Police was disgusting and uncalled for. Um, you know, I'm hoping that they do pursue legal action. More black people need to pursue legal action. We are constantly harassed by the police in the UK. Yes, they don't carry guns like America, but whipping out batons, breaking glass when, when there's children there, you know, using excessive force is using ex excessive force, whether you have a gun or not. It is uncalled for, it's dangerous, you know, you can end up killing people. It's just totally out of order. And it's, it's blatantly racism, racial profiling. You see a black man driving a nice car, you see a black woman driving a nice car, and you're vex. You are vex. And then you find any ridiculous reason to stop them, search them, harass them, and make their lives a living hell. You know, and we're tired. So guys, if you get stopped, you need to press charges, especially because most people are stopped over and over and over and over again. It's not a one-off thing. We're constantly harassed by the police. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comments. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment and subscribe, and hit the notification button, because if you miss it, you miss it. Toodles. Give me trouble, yeah. I'm gonna make it so close up. This love I don't feel it. No matter the my mind.